Good morning, uh, MC friends, MC Rider here. And uh, welcome to another Moto Vlog. It's 4.40 a.m. And it's obviously dark outside. And I think, I think, I think I finally figure out the, uh, the settings on my GoPro for night riding or low light conditions. I hope I did. We'll see. We'll find out here soon. Anyways, uh, I want to talk to you guys about riding at night and uh, basically what we can do to make a ride a little bit safer at night. Hey Mikey. A little side note before we start talking about it. Every time we ride we need to be situationally aware and of course having our motorcycle in a uh, excellent riding condition at all times that's you know the, the basic the fundamentals of riding a motorcycle to me besides you know all the mechanical stuff that goes on when riding all right with that being said let's get to it So, yeah, so riding at night is a little bit more dangerous than riding during the day. Pretty much a no-brainer, it's obvious. The reason why is because we have limited visibility. We can't see as far or as wide as we would like uh, or as we do during uh, when we're riding during daylight. So, that's the reason why it's a, more, it's a little bit more dangerous. So, there's not a whole lot that we can do to make it better. But there's a couple of things that will help us be a little bit safer out there. So, now, since we can't see as far as we want or as far as we do when we ride during the day, and uh, then other people out there, I mean, they're experiencing the same thing basically. So they can't see as far either, right? So, especially right now, see, we can, we have a, have a little bit of fog here. So I have to be a little bit more careful when I ride. So my riding is going to have to be changed or adapt to that. So what can we do? So now we have two issues. First off, we can't really see as far as we want. Obviously the visibility is limited. We can't see. It's not the same as riding during the day. So that's the first issue. The second issue is people can't see either. So they're experiencing the same problems we are. So that means that they can't see us. So it's a little bit harder for them to see us. Now, let's address the first issue. The first issue is we can't see. So what can we do? Okay. Uh, a lot of people they put more lights on their bikes so more lumens uh, better lighting and uh, with technology nowadays I mean you can get you can get some lights that are freaking bright so that would be probably the first thing that you could do is add some more or better lights to your bike now remember you have to be in compliance with DOT so Unless you're riding off-road. If you're riding uh, off-road or you're racing, that's a little bit different. But you want to be in compliance with DOT. Or even if you add as many lights as you want on your bike, you're still limited by the visibility. It's not the same. So, there's one more thing I think is probably the most important thing that you can do when you're riding at night or in limited visibility. And that is your speed. To stay within the speed limit and in my personal advice is try to ride a little bit slower than you would on your normal day-to-day -day riding. In other words, let's say the speed limit right here is 50 miles an hour. I'm going to try to be riding a little bit lower than that. I'm going to try to ride about maybe 45 miles an hour. The reason for that is it will give me a little bit more time to react to anything that I could, that I could encounter on the road. So, and, and I think that's basically the, one of the most important things that we can do when we're riding at night. And this is all, in my opinion, it's probably the most useful thing. Ride a little bit slower, just to slow down a little bit. Now, the other issue is people can't see us. So what can we do? Well, we're gonna have to get a be a little bit more visible to them. 
So again, lights. I'm not saying, you know, light up your bike like a Christmas tree, but adding a little bit of lights and with technology nowadays we have, there's something you can hook up to the computer of your motorcycle and when you stop, it'll flash a little bit, it'll flash a couple of times before you get onto your, uh, the solid state of the light. Uh, that, all those things are gonna make you more noticeable on the road. So that's a good thing, you can do that. Another thing that you can do, and this is a little bit more controversial, is reflective stuff and high visibility clothing. <clears throat> There's been studies out there that say the high visibility clothing, okay, this is a perfect example right now, it's really foggy, it's dark, I can't see, if I see that, reflects back so I can't see anything. So obviously I'm gonna slow down, And that gave me more time to react to turn over here. So again, that was just a perfect example why you need to kind of ride a little bit slower than you would normally. Just change, adapt your ride into the situation that you're in. But anyways, high vis clothing is very controversial. People, there's been studies that said it doesn't help. Other studies said, yeah, it does. In my opinion, even if it doesn't help, it's not gonna hurt you anything. So just wear it. Nowadays, a lot of, uh, Clo uh, motorcycle jackets and motorcycle clothing come with a reflective stub built into it and I think it's a nice good feature that you have uh, just use it you know take advantage of it and use it so anyways guys those are my two small little tips that uh, hopefully they help you in your day-to-day -day riding uh, especially when you're riding at night at night or in a uh, poor visibility conditions like tonight and uh, if you think there's anything else that we can do, if you have any more suggestions or advice for us, let us know in the comments below. We can all learn from each other, and we're here to help each other out. We're a good community. So, anyways, guys, that's it for me. And until we ride again, guys, ride safe.